What are we gonna do today? We're gonna take 80991 out and we're gonna play with some new toys that we got installed in the cockpit. Now, of course, I call them toys. They're a bit more expensive than that. Bought a label maker. I went a little crazy with it here. Spare headsets. This is a Lightspeed Sierra. I've never flown with one. This is one's brand new from Lightspeed. I'm gonna take it up with me today. 13th of November, so we're about mid-November. It does not feel like fall in Texas. It feels like winter. So these are two Garmin G5s. That's a Dynon D2. This guy is not certified for installation. That's why it's just kind of clipped into the little instrument hole there and it runs on its own battery and stuff. And then these two G5s have their own Atahars units built in to the units themselves. So actually, if I get a big red X on this attitude indicator up here, I can go down here on the HSI and hit PFD. And the best part about it, our suction gauge is gone. We no longer have a vacuum pump. So that's not something we have to worry about. We took the standby system out. There's no low, low vacuum pressure warning light, low suction light. Everything is electronic now. But this was all installed by McKee Avionics here at San Marcos, Texas. They did a really clean job. Everything looks great. My dad and I are both really excited about it. We've got the parts lined up to install a bunch of stuff at annual. And this panel is going to start looking a lot different here pretty soon. But this is the very first step, making the switch from mechanical gyros that run on a suction vacuum to solid state magnetometers and Atahars units with a glass panel. Mission India 1845, Zulu wind 330 at 16, gust 22. The weather is better than 5005, temperature 7, dew point minus 3, uh, temperature 3052. Visual runway 31 approaching use. Notice to airman, taxi weight delta closed. Advise on initial contact, you have information. India. Okay, so let's go ahead and call for taxi. Tell them we're at Barry Cessna 172, taxi out for a uh, northeast departure. San Marcos Ground, Skyhawk 809091. Skyhawk 809091, San Marcos Ground. 809091, Cessna 172, Skyhawk at Barry Aviation. Information India, like taxi out northeast bound VFR departure. Skyhawk 809091, San Marcos Ground, runway 31, taxi via Alpha Charlie Foxtrot. Alpha Charlie Foxtrot, runway 31, 809091. I'm going to go ahead and put the heading bug on 310 for runway 31. It's a good idea to put the heading bug on runway heading just in case the autopilot, which we don't have one yet, um, but in case the autopilot decides to engage on the takeoff, it's not going to try and turn you off runway heading when you're only like 50 feet up or 100 feet up, whatever. Okay, so we're going to note our wind. It's a quartering tailwind, so we're going to turn our yoke like this. We're going to give it a right turn. Turn coordinator, inclinometer, and HSI are working. Attitude indicators are staying erect. Beautiful. He'll be exiting off your left. Taxi via Charlie and Alpha to park it. Uh, throttle check closed. It's all good. Friction lock set. We're sitting here. Let's do the pre takeoff. Flaps are set all the way up to zero. Mixture is set for best power. We're going to go full rich. Carpet is off. The transponder squawking out to 1200. Heading bug is set to runway heading. Doors, windows closed and latched. We've got them all shut. And landing line on. We already got it on. We're going to get the strobes on when we take off. And our abort plan if we're not off by 26. Or sorry, yes, 26 on runway 31. If we're not off by 26, we're going to abort the takeoff. And we're going to pull right up to the hold line here. I usually turn to look into the final approach path, but I don't even need to do that here because we're already looking at the final approach path for 31. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk, 80991, holding short of runway 31, Foxtrot, ready for VFR departure. Uh, 80991, San Marcos Tower, runway 31, clear for takeoff, northeast roof. Runway 31, clear for takeoff, 80991, we're gonna make a right hand turn out if that's okay. Front of it. Okay. All good, strobe lights on. Checklist is complete, nobody on final. Go ahead and tighten our seat belt. This is gonna be a comically short takeoff roll because of this obnoxious wind. Do a reality check on the compass and the HSI. We look good, we're on runway heading. Power to full, airspeed's alive. 
engine instruments in the green. There's rotation speed. Oh, that was hilarious. We are airborne. Probably going to be at pattern altitude by the time we cross the other end of the runway. And there's VY right there on the on the glass panel. Good, good. Climb out about 78 knots. And we are climbing like crazy. Engines in the green. Everything looks good. All right, take a look at the climb checklist. Speed 70 to 78, we have got it. Power is set, full mixture is set as we wanted. Instruments, we're gonna check, cross check and calibrate and everything is good. Taxi landing light off, flight plan open. We're gonna talk to Austin here in a little bit. Go ahead and get our landing light off. We're climbing a little bit above VY and that's okay. We're still doing 1200 feet a minute. <laughs> Checking our ADSB, I don't see any traffic that's immediately a conflict for me. The nearest traffic is way up there, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't look outside because there are some aircraft that don't have ADSB. And as soon as I leave the San Marcos airspace here in about another quarter mile, then I'm going to let them know I'm leaving. I'm going to go talk to Austin Approach unless they tell me beforehand. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80991. I'm going to switch to Austin Approach. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. You too. All right, 6796, 1500. 67796, I'll sprint your radar contact. 67796, that's the airplane I did my first solo in. Cessna 152. Austin Approach, Skyhawk 80991. Uh, calling Approach, taking your call, sir. Skyhawk 80991, Cessna 172, just departed San Marcos. Going to be maneuvering out northeast of Lockhart, like to be on with you, 3000. Zero nine nine one squawk zero two two zero zero two two zero on the squawk nine nine one about zero five zero looks better heading I like country to one thirty three clear direct Alexi contact Houston Center one three two point one five this feels like a totally different airplane with a new panel sitting in front of me Alexi three two one five for Houston Center I've got you eighty one thirty three. Radio 991 radar contact, I'll salt to 3049er and uh, maintain VFR out of below 3000. Out of below 3000, I'll 3049 or 80991. How far uh, east of your present position do you want to work? We're going to be approximately 8 miles to the northeast of Lockhart. Radio 991, Roger, you can proceed on course, let me know, uh, just maintain out of below 3000. Out of below 3000, 991. There's a little pink diamond right here, so I've got my cyan heading bug here. A little bit of turbulence, which is pretty nice to have the heading bug there. But then I've got this little uh, magenta diamond with this dotted line coming from the airplane. Remember six seven seven nine or six, and proceed southbound. That magenta diamond is actually my ground track. Being able to see my ground track right here right, on my heading indicator is so awesome. Contact approach one two five point three two. Cruise checklist, power, mixture, and instruments. Power is set where we want it. Mixture is set where we want it, and the instruments cross-check calibrate. Everything is good. Good day, Pro. Southwest 2175, flight with 220, 270 via the Suzy 4. We have Tango. Southwest 2175, Austin approach 35 left. Zero off the mic, level 6,000 direct, Tango. We're not zero, zero off the mic, Austin Approach, expect 35 right. Roger. All right, we did our clearing turn, so we're going to start a standard rate. We're not a, sorry, not a standard rate. Let's do a steep turn. Put our heading bug on 330. And let's do one to the left. We're going to roll into a 45 degree left hand bank. There's 30 degrees. Increase power for the loss of vertical lift there. And then there's 45 degrees. We're looking out the cowling, looking at my sight picture here down the cowling, glancing in at my altimeter every now and then, holding her right at 45 degrees. We're climbing a little bit, so I'm going to relax that back pressure, and I can afford to pull just a little bit of power out of there. The trick to a steep turn is looking out the window. Look out the window, about 90 more degrees to go, holding her at 45 degrees. 
looking out the window. 2514 off departure, right of contact, turn right, direct Galaxy, climb and maintain 12,000. Direct Galaxy at 12,000, mark 2514. I'm just seeing how well the G5s here are working. We're going to do that again, we're just going to ease a smidge of power in there. And we're going to roll into a 45 degree right hand bank. Not exactly the easiest today with these bumps, but that's good practice actually. I haven't done steep turns in a really long time. Give it a little nose up trim. We're going to hold 45 degrees of bank here. And it actually, it actually works better when you don't tilt your head with the horizon. That way you can see the bank a little bit better. I'm sinking just a little bit, so I'm going to add a smidge of power. Keep that bank in there. Keep that back pressure coming. Keep her coming around. About 70 degrees to go. Yeah, these bumps are messing with me. And roll out. Nice. Austin Approach 8 0 one heading back towards San Marcos. Number 991, Roger, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, 991. I'm actually going to go to the nearest because I know San Marcos is close. And go to KHYI, direct enter, enter. And that gives us a course straight to San Marcos. Approach, King Air 410 uniform. And now we've got a magenta uh, triangle up here. King Air 110 uh, uniform, go ahead. Yeah, did you want us to uh, shoot on the arrival or uh, shoe on the uh, ILS runway 35 right? Number one, so your uniform direct shoes, and uh, the final controller will have a vector for you for the visual. You can contact approach now, 125.32. Mark fire information, India 1845, Zulu, wind 330 at 16, gust 22. The weather is better than 5005, temperature 7, dew point minus 3, uh, turmeric 3052. Visual runway 31, approaching use. Notice to airmen. Actuate Delta closed. His visor initial contact, you have information. India. Scout K0991 has India at San Marcos. 0991, Roger. And the fact that we have this HSI in here now, and we've got the little magenta diamond up there that shows our ground track, we can put that ground track right at the top of the magenta arrow, and that's going to keep us on course. And that way we can actually see how much we're crabbing. Yeah, I can see that I'm crabbing about 5 degrees. Uh, the, uh, the Doing 92 knots over the ground. American 1988, also approach, expect 35 left. Let me know if you happen to run any turbulence. We had some over there about an hour and a half ago. I just don't know if it's dissipated or not. Okay, I'll let you know for 35 left, American 1988. All right, so we checked NAV 2. NAV 2 is all operating and NAV 1 is completely operating. And on the ground, I just kind of checked the glide slope and it is, it is operating. Marcus Tower, Skyhawk, 80991, about uh, one zero miles to your east, 3000, information Juliet, full stop. Skyhawk, 80991, San Marcos Tower, Roger, report five miles uh, east of the airport, expect runway 31320 at 15 gust 20. We'll expect runway 31 will report to five east of the field, 991. Okay, so we'll expect runway 31. All right, we're out of the green arc, the car, November five, six, six, car November coming Delta out. Is on the go, confirm right close traffic. Pre-landing checklist, brakes, pedal test. We've got good pressure. Good pressure on the brakes. Landing lights on. Probably going to get a landing clearance here in a second. Reduce the power a little bit. Number one, runway 31, clear to land. 31, clear to land, 80991. All right, all good. 80991, wind 320 at 15. It may be gusting to 20. All right, thanks. Okay, red, blue, green. The runway is clean. We're clear to land. Red, blue, green, that means mixture, prop, which is a blue knob, and then green. Gear is down, we got green lights, and the runway is clean. We're clear to land, and it's ours. We're all set up for landing. And pre landing to autopilot off, seatbelt, shoulder harnesses, mixture, car peat flaps, and fuel. Pre landing checklist complete. We're going to reduce the power and pitch the nose up. We're actually at idle now. We're going to reduce power, pitch the nose up, and we are crabbing like crazy. We're going this way. And in the wide arc, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, dropping the first notch of flaps. And verify this is runway 31. I see the numbers down there. I know which runway we're going for. It's kind of confusing right here because we've got a taxiway, a runway, runway, and another runway. So it pays to just double check, make sure we're on the right runway. We're going to put the heading bug on runway heading. Coming down through 74 knots. And we may have to do a little bit of a slip here, but our ground speed is going to tank. 
here on final and we are crapping like crazy. That is nuts. Little space shuttle approach here. Alright, 30 degrees flaps. Alright, keep that nose down, we're about 70 knots. That's looking good. Red, blue, green, the runway's clean. Coming down through 65 knots, I'm gonna give it a little power. Keep that nose down. Power November 566, November Delta is left down line. Keep that nose down, keep that nose down. We're going to need a lot of left rudder, and we're going to compensate to keep it from sliding with the aileron. But here's some left rudder. Nice, nice. At full right aileron in the wind there. Alright, we're off at Echo. Make sure the entire airplane is past the hold line and come to a complete stop. And we're going to do the after landing checklist. Flaps are coming up. The carb heat is off. The strobes are off. Pedo heat's off. Mixture as required. Let's go ahead and lean it. Trim is set for takeoff, and the transponder squawking altitude. We're, and we're going to keep that squawk code in. So mark is ground. Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one clear of three one echo going to the T hangers. Nine 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 one. So mark is ground. Turn right. Taxi Charlie Alpha. Taxi to parking. Charlie Alpha to parking. Nine 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 one. All right. Nice. Good stuff. It's really great that the market is starting to really open up for glass instruments and just really modern tech for old airplanes like this. We have an aging aviation fleet. The really nice avionics and the really nice tech is only either in the jets and the really nice airplanes, the really expensive airplanes, or experimental. For the certified aging avi general aviation fleet, it is great to have stuff like this starting to get certified. Dynon just got it, the big Skyview system certified for the Cessnas and the Pipers. These Garmin G5s were an absolutely awesome solution. I'm really happy with it. It interfaces with everything great. We're ADS-B compliant. We've got backup glide slopes. Really the only things left is an engine monitor and a, uh, an autopilot. One of those is going to be installed very, very soon. God, this is an awesome airplane. I love this airplane. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I appreciate you watching. I hope you got something from it. Maybe you learned something if you're thinking of upgrading your old airplane and putting some newer stuff in it. Highly recommend it. These Garmin G5s are absolutely phenomenal. The Dynon D2 is a great backup. And like I said, while we were up in the air, this airplane is gonna get some more of those upgrades here pretty soon, including an engine monitor and an autopilot. Don't forget to go check out my eStoreAviation101.com slash store if you wanna get a hat or a shirt. I also sell a little bit of gear there that I use personally on my videos. And don't forget to go down in the description, check out Lightspeed's website if you're looking to get yourself a nice active noise reduction headset. Their website is in a link down in the description as well as my eStore. I want y'all to stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and most importantly, stay proficient. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. Fly safe, we'll see you later.